Hey guys, Ricardo here, or welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, here I have the M1 MacBook, and I'll be showing you how to load any iPhone app on your Mac. So, in other words, guys, I'll be showing you how to any app that's on your iPhone. So, for example, if you look over here, I have um, some apps over here. And, of course, if you have anything purchased, free apps or whatever it is, I'm going to show you how to take any app from this device over here, such as this cool game here that's called, um, that's called um, Pigeon Wings or any of the other apps. And, of course, load them on your Mac. Now, um, let me show you how it's done. Um, first of all, the apps that are for your um, device over here, which is the iPhone, are different from the ones that are on your M1 Mac, all right? But of course, there are useful applications that you may want to sideload or just load from here over to your device. All right, so let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do, guys, is make sure that you're connected to the internet. Once you're connected to the internet, as I am now, go ahead and you're going to see the app store go ahead and click on the app store you can see the application down here so go ahead and launch so once the app store launches guys you're going to be near let me just um, move it from here next you're going to go over to um, the section here where you have your user you should be logged in so click on your user profile lower left so let me go ahead and click so once you click on the user profile here, you should see your apps. Now, these are all the apps that are on my device. Notice here, it says right over here, it says um, Mac apps. And of course, these are all the apps that are on my Mac. If I go over here, in general, I can search in the app store for apps. But if you search for apps, you'll find that you don't find all of them when you search the general app store. However, guys, if you want to get the ones from your iPhone, it also applies to iPod as well. You simply click right here on the secondary tab. You might miss it. It's so small. Go ahead and tap. And there you go, guys. You'll notice here I have uh, my apps that are on my, um, on my phone. Some of these cannot be found in the Mac store. So if you check it out here, guys, I have all of these cool apps. So um, if the app can, can be downloaded, if the app can be downloaded to your phone, it can also be loaded in most cases to your um, MacBook. So as you can see here, guys, these are all of the apps. Let me simply go through and show you some of them. Um, here is this one here that's called um, Crossy Roads. And you can see the full complement of apps right here. And all of them can be loaded. All right. So if I want, I can simply go ahead now and download any of these apps that are on my phone over to my uh, MacBook. All right, guys, just to demonstrate something very simply here. Um, not all apps will show up, but a majority of them should show up. All right. So especially if they're compatible, sometimes the developers might decide to remove them or not allow this feature to cross load. All right. But if you see here, guys, you see Crossy Roads. Just to prove that it's not in the Mac store, we're on the iPhone. So this one is on the iPhone called Crossy Roads. Okay, so guys, um, I can show you on my device. Crossy Road is actually on here. Here we go. It's right here. It says Crossy Road. And if I go up here in the general store, let me just go over here and search. Um, let me go ahead and go to Discover. If I go to Discover and I go to Search and I search Crossy Road. And R-O-A-D. Check this out, guys. If I search in general, Notice it shows other games. It does not show. It does not show um, the the app version. It simply shows these, and all of these are the similar apps that are in the place the app store. All right. Um, so to get it, I simply have to maybe two ways. I can load it on the phone, and then I come down here, click here, Let me show you. click here, and then I would go over to the section. At the top here that says instead of uh, mac apps i can say iphone apps then i simply click on the cloud icon to download all right another way to do this guys is i can go up here to discover if i want to side load as well i can search crossy roads i've already had have it here and then i can click it notices mac apps here and it shows it's not in the app store but if i check on the iphone side over here right notice it does show that it's on the iphone side so that's the secondary way. So you can load to your phone, then load from down here. Or you can use the option where it shows iPhone. 
to check if it's on iPhone and then I can load it from here as well so if I click from here it will load just the same alright so I'm gonna load it this way I could load this way but what I'm gonna do guys is I'm just gonna show you down here since it's a cool game so I'm just gonna go down here I'm gonna look for a game again this will also work for your paid apps as well I'm gonna hit the download option notice it's doing its thing and I'm loading it directly from my phone I'll show you in a minute that it's actually a alright here you go it's now loaded you can open from here or you can go to a launcher notice it's installing in launcher so here you go it says crossy roads it's a very small app um, we'll give it a few seconds just to finish then we can launch notice the window now the window here indicates it's not originally designed for your Mac but you can play it on your Mac alright so let me show you that it actually works and I'm now playing with my hands notice my hands here alright so it works quite fine as you can see it's working I'm using the arrow keys and there you go so it's working quite nicely all right so I'm gonna close this out so there you go you can basically load or side load most apps so again guys um, simply go in here to save time and you can go to the search bar search for any app and then check on the tab for your iPad so you can search for any of your popular games that you love from your phone you'll know there side loaded are from your um, iPhone or iPad apps simply because they take up a smaller window alright guys I hope this tutorial was very helpful and of course this is one of the features you might miss with your um, device if you do not know how to do this alright so as always guys Ricardo Gardner here simply showing you cool ways you can um, enjoy even more apps on your device that may not exist for the Mac so in case you need more applications Ricardo Gardner saying bye until next time bye